Hi, this is Madam Pamita, and I hope you enjoy this clip from my Live Magic Q&A. If you'd like to see the full recording of the Live Magic Q&A, you can do so. All you have to do is be a part of my coven. And to do that, all you have to do is click the link below or go to patreon.com slash Madam Pamita. I hope you become a part of my coven and enjoy this clip. Sherry has a question. <laughs> When burning a ritual candle, your book on candle magic says to burn the candle all the way down. Does that mean that the wick should be burned to nothing but ash? Or can a small amount of it be black and burnt but still looking like the shape of the wick? All right, that's a great question. Because it's when I say a candle is burned completely, that's really, I think, the terminology I use. Your candle. When you're doing a spell, your candle should burn completely. When your candle burns completely, the spell is complete, right? So we have different ways we use candles. So we might have a candle that we're, let's say, you know, just honoring a spirit or honoring our ancestors or honoring, honoring a deity. That candle, you can light it, you know, on the holidays, you can light it once a week. It's not a spell candle that you're sending off energy. Whenever you're doing a spell candle and you're sending off energy, you want to burn that candle completely. The reason you want to do that is because that's like your spell is complete. Your spell isn't done until the candle is done. So that's why I don't recommend like having a candle that you're just lighting every once in a while for a spell, unless you're doing it as like an ongoing spell. Like if you're always, maybe you're always burning a candle for abundance in your business and you always have a candle going, then that's a little bit different. But if you're doing a spell with a beginning and an end and you want to send that spell off, then you want to have a candle spell, the candle burn completely. So your spell is complete. Then you really sent off that energy. So what do I mean? Well, it means different things for different candles. If you have a candle in a glass jar, that means that your wax is burned all the way to the bottom. There probably is going to be some wick in there very unlikely that you're going to have no wick. Sometimes it happens that the wick burns to nothing, but you can have a little tiny bit of wax and a little bit of wick in there and your candle has burned completely. What I'm really saying in some way is like the candle can't burn anymore, right? If you if you have a wick, but there's no wax, your candle can't burn anymore. Your candle spell is complete. On a freestanding candle, like a figural candle or a taper candle, that means that the if it's a taper candle, it's usually burns completely and there may be some wax drips that are, you know, left over, but the candles burned all the way down. You might have a little bit of wick at the end, maybe, maybe not, but that candle has burned completely. With a freestanding candle, you'll probably have a lot more wax flowing around. And what I look for with a freestanding candle is do I see the bottom of the tray? That to me says the candle has burned completely. If I see that there's wax, and if there's some wick, then the candle has not burned completely. If there's just flows of wax around, then the candle has burned completely. So the wick can have a little stub. It most often does have a little stub there. You'll see a little, it looks like a little worm, a little black worm, but you can't light it anymore. And it's not as if it burned half and then stopped and you can't light it anymore. That's the difference. So it's looking at it doing lots of candle spells and you'll know when it's burned completely <laughs> that's the best way i can say it um sometimes the wick gets lost because the pool of wax if that pool of wax drowns the wick so a candle will burn halfway and then maybe you can't find the wick anymore that's not a candle that burned completely you don't see the wick but the candle has not burned completely it should burn all the way down pretty close to all the way down and certainly you should be able to see the um tray below it if you're burning a candle on a tray. So I think does that I hope that answers your question. I think that does. But yeah, once you you'll get it. You'll know when a candle is burned completely or not. If there's like a little bit left, I don't give it too much, you know, weight in my reading of the candle. But if it's a lot and I can't get it to light and I can't get it going, then I will pay attention to it because that's unusual. We're always looking for the unusual, right? When we do a candle reading.